the Lions leave a message with a 3-0 and uh, sweep in this window. Senegal win this game against Cameroon 90-71. Let me just talk about this. I mean, Senegal are just one of those teams that I actually put them as a dark horse team, but the addition of Gogi Jang and they're just, he is just the X factor in there. And I can just say uh, the way they've just been playing, they've just been playing at an all-time, you know, great level. And I feel like they might have a solid chance of even making some serious noise moving forward because the way these guys are pushing the game is just different. They shot 49% from the field, 62% of two-point field goals, 34% from deep, 68% on the line. They just checked all the boxes and they're able to out-rebound the Cameroonian side, 49 total rebounds. So they checked all the boxes, shot pretty well, make sure to get the boards the way they needed them. The only two lead changes in this game, and this game started off close. Both teams were, you know, holding self pretty well. But at the start, at the end of the, at midway in the second quarter, moving on to the end to mark the end of the first half, you see there was a quite a gap that Senegal left. But in the second half, this game was not even close at all. As Senegal just kept piling on the points, and they were just, you know, just toying with the backcourt and the defense of the Cameroonian side. And Cameroon, Cameroon just didn't look like they had a chance. It even looked like they stood even a chance against these guys because uh, the, the Senegalese side, they had five steals, 24 total assists. They struggled a lot with 14 turnovers. I mean, they needed to take care of the ball. Despite the win, they needed to take care of the ball. They had they recorded five blocks. And the worst part about it, they re they were led in fouls and turnovers, and they still won the game. So initially, they need they need to at least take care of the basketball, and make sure that they are able to know where who 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 is where in the court, so that they can be able to like reduce the number of fouls, make small plays, and also uh, in the fouls and make new good plays, and even in the fouls, they should at least. Uh, minimize these and try to you know uh, find a way find another way to be able to get the ball <laughs> i mean the fouls are just too much and you cannot foul too much and you win in the game you need to find a way to minimize those fouls but all in all it's a pretty exciting game they had the biggest lead was 19 they dominated the game for they dominated this game for 38 whole minutes letting fast break points eight they racked up they led in fast break points 22 points uh eight points from turnovers 11 second chance points they dominated inside 40 points in the paint 34 points on the from the bench so it was actually a pretty good um performance by them gogi jang again with a strong double double 15 points 41 percent shooting from the field 13 rebounds i mean three blocks i mean he was just the he was just the dude that just carried these guys and yusuf endoy he also showed up pretty well um, 15 minutes played, 85% uh, shooting from the field, uh, four rebounds, two assists. I mean, uh, one block. I mean, he had plus minus plus five. He was actually him and Gogi Jang just you know took the wheel and they did everything. But the guy who came in and showed up pretty well and just went you know under the radar was Branko Badio. 28 minutes played, 22 points, 37% shooting from the field. He had six rebounds. Eight assists. This man dished out the rock eight times. He only had two turnovers and one possible foul, and he had three steals. So this guy just pretty much went under the radar, and he led the team in scoring. But the impact that Branko Badio had was evident as Gogi Jang would let the troops. Badio just came in, and you know, Badio and Yusuf Wendoy, they just came in, you know, just did their thing right there. So, um, yeah, I mean, Senegal. I would pick this team to, you know, go all the way. Uh, I feel like they're ready. Uh, some teams like Tunisia, they only had one win, which really, really surprised me. I was expecting them to win, like, three straight after they got beat by South Sudan in their first and second window, February and July. But anyway, Senegal just looks like they have the tools to do and get, get to that level. So, uh yeah man uh, i'm gonna see you guys in the next upload make sure you know so smash that like button subscribe to the channel hit the bell because i'm dropping a lot of videos uh, based on fiba and uh yeah i'm out peace